All right, hockey fans, welcome back inside the Mattamy Athletic Center as we get you set for another game here at the 2024 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. My name's Nico. Joining me up in the booth is the one, the only Isaiah, as he'll provide color commentary for this game between the Habs in black and the Leafs in yellow. Isaiah, you having fun up here? Yeah, this is awesome. Well, you're doing a great job, and I'm grateful that you're sticking around to call another game, because you know what? You're giving my voice a bit of a break, and I need it. <laughs> yeah. Do you uh, guess how many games I'm calling this weekend? Uh, 19. Spot on. That's exactly the number. It's almost like we rehearsed this, yeah. but we did not. Yeah. <laughs> He's Isaiah, I'm Nico, the teams are on the ice. Let's get you set for this game as this broadcast produced by Paris Sport TV. And here we go, it's the Leafs in yellow working left to right across your screen. The Habs in black as Nathan Tunis gets set to take the opening face off here for the Leafs. Your starting goaltenders for the Leafs, it's Corey Gaskin between the pipes and for the Habs, it's Wyatt Harvey who gets the start in net. Gaskin lost his glove there on the back of the net, so the referee goes over to give him a hand and then we'll drop the puck here for the opening faceoff in this open division game at the 2024 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. Gaskin getting in one more sip of water, his teammate Foxcroft tells him, Hey, we're all waiting on you, Tendy. And now we get set to do action here. 20 minute runtime periods. And one, we are underway in this game between the Habs and, excuse me, the Leafs and the Habs as it's picked up there and brought in the zone by Foxcroft. He works the far side wing. Centers in front. Harvey didn't have to get a piece of that one as the Habs trying to clear their own zone. They work right to left across your screen in the black jerseys. It's secured and brought up by Rick Oriold. Oriold, stick check there by Foxcroft. They're pinned up against the far side boards. Chipped ahead and now it's secured as Foxcroft brings it in for the Leafs. He drops that one as LaFrance takes the shot and scores! Maurice LaFrance scores! 24 seconds into this game and what a hot start for the Leafs. The Leafs they get that early goal, they're getting the early lead. If they keep playing like this, they will win this game. The, uh, the Habs need to get that goal back soon, and this should be a really tight packed game. Absolutely, and what a fast start there for the Leafs as they put the Habs on their heels early. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're cheering on. We'll get to some viewer shout outs throughout the broadcast use the live stream, use the live chat function on the stream. Puck brought into the zone, but just offside, Willer a step ahead. Well, let's give a couple quick shout outs here. One for Lana Ruddle, who's cheering on the Habs, saying auntie and uncle watching Hurricane Cast join thunder and lightning. As LaFrance gets the goal, no assist announced for the time being. Puck brought in the zone by the Habs. Willer, stick handling the rolling puck, takes it behind the net. Centers in front as he tried to hit Curtis Ruddle with the pass, but that time, Lightning gets on up ended and here go the Leafs back the other way. Puck deep in the offensive zone is trying to drop it back at the blue line. Banks unable to hold it in, so they'll have to retreat before back, going back into the zone. Picked up now by Drew Garza. He fires that one up the ice where it's met by the stick of Ben Ho Lung. Garza get a, gets a touch to it. Here goes Tremblay who had a, uh, excuse me, Gallant who had a hat trick last game for the Leafs. But that time he stopped before he can gain the zone. Puck chopped to the near side boards. Bomers brings it in. He's upended, no call play continuing on as Cody Sturgeon and Johnny Gallant search for the puck. Gallant comes up with it at the faceoff dot. Needs to make a pass, tries to hit Bomers with the drop. There's a shot, big save, the rebound. Turned away as Harvey makes a couple of good saves in tight. Those saves were huge and 
that those were like huge saves. They need, and those were almost saves that needed to happen. It gives the Habs a lot more confidence. They're trying to get that goal back, and I bet they'll do it soon. Well, they're working hard, and you're right, gaining confidence with each moment in this game as that time they get a good save from their goaltender, Wyatt Harvey. And now they clear the puck off the boards down the ice. Not going to be an icing. So Graham Foxcroft will retrieve it from behind his own net, starting to wheel out. Plays it off the near side boards. The Mack truck, Brian Mackey tries to chase it down, but it's brought into the zone here by Yoni Koko. He makes the pass as it's picked up by Nathan Tunis. Tunis couldn't get a shot on net, and now McCowan flips it to the line, but not out. Puck ricochets back to McCowan, who, as it's stripped away, and now it'll be secured by Josh Schneider for the Habs. Schneider's outlet pass off the boards in front of the Leafs bench where it's secured by Norman Blay. Blay trying to defend, but it's rolling off his stick and now picked up by his Ibu teammate, Tunis. Nathan Tunis working up the near side wing. And a delayed offside is gonna bring the face off outside and a stoppage with 15.55 to play in the period. Isaiah, what's been the highlight of the weekend for you so far at the 2024 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament? Just the whole thing. It's been an absolute great weekend, and this is only the middle day, and there's more hockey today, and there's a lot more tomorrow. You got that right, and of course, Isaiah playing tomorrow in the children's division. What do you think's going to happen in that game? Give us a bit of a preview. It's going to be a really close game. I know that because both of the teams have won one game, so it's really a game that really matters. It's a game that'll tell you who, which team will be the better team in the children's division. Absolutely, and that goes at 8 a.m. tomorrow as the Leafs trying to mount an attack here. There's the shot from Alyssa Cruz. Block trickles in, but a good save by Wyatt Harvey as he spreads out and covers that with the glove. Isaiah, are there any friends or family that you want to give a special shout out to? Uh, well, I told my dad to text my auntie so she could watch, <laughs> so yeah. All right, well, of course, if auntie's tuned in, she can also give us a shout out through the live chat thread and we'll read that out over the yeah. air. Yeah. From the face off, the Leafs move the puck over to the far side, hash marks. It's met there by Curtis Ruddle who Tried to clear the zone, Banks held it in temporarily. And then on the second effort, McCowan sends it down the ice. Rolling puck picked up by James Ruddle. Cassandra Ruddle to the front of the net, but they can't quite connect on the pass. Curtis Ruddle was there too, and now through center ice. It's secured by the Habs inside their own line with Josh Schneider on the puck. He makes the outlet pass to James Ruddle. Hits McCowan with that one as McCowan flips it over to Curtis Ruddle into the far corner. There's the buzzer for the good clean pass. Ruddle to Ruddle and off the side of the net as James the Train just missed that connection. Shot from the point block, Curtis Ruddle. Oh, ricochets and it trickles in! Curtis Ruddle gets the goal to tie the game for the Habs. Well, the Habs were putting a lot of pressure in the offensive zone. They were getting close a lot and they just snuck one in, and this game is all tied at one. His second goal of the weekend, and that's a big one from Curtis Ruddle, as Thunder and Lightning connect, and Curtis Lightning Ruddle gets the goal to tie this game, set up by his dad, James Thunder Ruddle. And what a big goal, and here come the Habs again. Willer on the puck, tries to sauce that one over. It's broken up, Scanlon. Back checking, but getting there first is Garza. Loose puck as it's slapped up by Scanlon. Controlled here by Willer. Good stick check there by Norman Blade to jar the puck loose. Willer spinning out of the corner. Plays it over to the far side where tracking it down is Jimmy Trombley. Trying to center that one in, it ricochets back to Trombley. Scanlon at the point, her shot, that one just misses as tracking it behind the net and trying to make a play is Brian Mackey. Controlled, oh nice job by Willer to hold the zone after he stripped that away from Nathan Tunis. Willer shoots, what a block, as Norman Blake took that one off the hand and that's gotta hurt. Shot from the point from Garza, ricochets over to the far corner 
Blay showing some real grit out there, making a defensive play while still shaking off that block shot. 12-12 to go in the period. Willer back to the point for Scanlon. Scanlon shoots, that's blocked. Scanlon gets it back, shoots again, tipped in front, and Mackey just redirected that wide of the net. Great pressure here as Sturgeon tries to clear the zone, it's to the line, but not out. Garza shoots, that one just goes over top the net. Loose puck, they jam away at it, and now it's Nathan Tunis that comes up with it to clear the zone, but a whistle to stop the play with 11.40 left in the first. Couple quick shout outs here on the live chat thread. One for Sean who's cheering on the Leafs. Says beat the Habs at Maple Leaf Gardens and then the Oilers at Scotiabank Arena. I like that parlay, Sean. Uh, let's give a shout out as well to Chase cheering for Johnny Gallant as Norman Blay went to the penalty box, but he's quickly helped over to the bench after that gutsy block shot. Quick shout outs as well for Roberta, Karen, and Jacqueline, as Uncle Bob watching again for Cody Sturgeon. Keep up the great work, go Cody, go. Well, we've got the face off coming up to the right of the goaltender, Corey Gaskin. And Isaiah, this has been a really tightly contested match as we're tied 1-1. A very tight game so far, and I bet this will stay all game. I think you're right, as these two teams certainly playing tight checking hockey right now, and the Leafs try to clear the zone, but the Habs are gonna hold it in here as digging it out along the wall was Mark Bentz. Over to the far wing where trying to corral it is Cassandra Ruddle. There's a shot, big block in front by Ben Holung as he redirected it wide. And now we get a whistle behind the play that'll bring the face off outside of the zone. The Habs recently are putting on so much pressure, getting in a lot of good chances, a lot of good blocks and defensive plays by the Leafs. And they're just trying to keep it 1-1 and eventually the Leafs are gonna try take the lead back but so are the Habs. Absolutely both of these teams battling for the breakthrough goal right now as we are past the midway mark of the period 950 remaining and we're all square 1-1. One, one. Here goes Tremblay for uh, excuse me Gallant for the Leafs his back pass picked off and back the other way comes Rick Oriold. Oriold streaking up the far side wing Checking his passing options. Drops that one intended for McCowan. It was blocked and now corralled at the line only temporarily by Josh Snyder. He does well to knock it in deep, but just as quickly Randy Banks banks it back out through center ice. Snyder, his back pass picked off by Gallant. Gallant into the zone. He's got Gravel with him. Makes the drop pass. Gravel tries to center that one through, but it's over to the far corner. Foxcroft in the corner, centers that to the slot, but it was knocked away by Scanlon. At the point, they battle for it, and great muscle here from Ruddle. Cassandra Ruddle leading the charge, tried to make the pass over to Rick Oriold, but he hit the brakes and couldn't quite get to it in time. Brought in now by the Leafs across the line. Gallant to Foxcroft, Foxcroft shoots off a defender and a huge save there from Wyatt Harvey on the deflection. That might be his best save of the game yet. 8.35 to go in the period as Scanlon digs it off the end boards. Foxcroft from down low in the corner, tries a sharp angle shot, never made it through as Garza blocked it. Garza has the puck in his skates, smacks that one to the line, not out, knocked out of midair, but with a high stick so we get the whistle. Isaiah, who are some of your favorite hockey players that you love to watch? Um, I love watching Austin Matthews, Mitch Martyr, John Tavares. Those are really good players on the Maple Leafs. And the Maple Leafs are my favorite team, so yeah. I was going to say, I think I noticed a common theme there. They were all great Leaf players. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, we're in the home of the former Toronto Maple Leafs at the old Maple Leaf Gardens and the new Mattamy Athletic Center. What a great building. Yeah. And it's just a great weekend every year, isn't it? Yeah, and it's I can't believe I'm actually playing under the same roof. They won so many Stanley Cups here. Yeah, absolutely. I feel the same way, buddy. Here goes Willer ahead for the Habs. Makes the pass. Curtis Ruddle shoots. That one goes just wide. Willer behind the net trying to corral the loose puck. Tries to jam it in, but Gaskin there to make the pad save. 
Huge save from Corey Gaskin. A huge save indeed. That was incredible. There was a lot of chances coming up, and he made a huge save. He did one of his better saves today, and the newer goaltender from the Central Alberta Bullseye program having a great debut here at the 2024 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. From the faceoff, the Habs win it back to the blue line. Schneider plays it to the near side boards, and that's going to allow the Leafs to play it up the ice as Nathan Tunis chases after the pass from Bomers. Tunis stops in the faceoff circle. Tried to play it back to Bomers. That was broken up as digging away for it is Josh Schneider. The Habs get it across the line, and now it's picked up by Willer. Outlet pass trying to hit Curtis Ruddle in stride. Ruddle has his dad on the near wing, but tried to play that over to Willer. Willer at the far side of the post, takes the shot. That one never made it through the traffic in front as Foxcroft knocks it down and now leads the charge for the Leafs. Foxcroft makes the pass to the front, shoots. Oh, what a save, Wyatt Harvey! Threw up the glove hand and with that brand new trapper made a huge save to keep this game tied. Trickling puck goes wide of the far post. Garza chops it over to the corner. Controlled now by Willer for the Habs. Banks it off the boards, down the ice. This might not have enough for icing as the puck catches an edge, it rolls right in on goal. And with the puck sitting there, they whistle it down. Curtis Ruddle felt like it was still moving, but a quick whistle there from the refs. There was a huge save by Wyatt Harvey, keeping the game tied at 1-1. What a save, that was incredible. That, wow. That was an amazing save. His best save of the weekend, no doubt. That's one for his personal highlight reel as he flashed the leather, that brand new white and red glove making its best save so far. Loose puck from the faceoff, corralled by the Leafs across center ice. Now Garza smacks it back in the zone for the Habs, tracking back defensively and picking it up is LaFrance. He's got the goal for the Leafs. Nearly jammed it at his own net, and now Aiden McCowan trying to take advantage. McCowan working the wall. Kept in at the point by Garza. His shot hit a person in front as Cody Sturgeon got in the way of that one. Randy Banks can't quite pick it out. Half clearance picked up by Scanlon. Her shot attempt blocked. LaFrance plays it up the far side wing, and this could be a break now for the Leafs. They've got numbers in transition. Drop pass for Sturgeon, trying to smack away at it. Ben Ho Lung but it's cleared out to center ice before Randy Banks fires that puck in deep. 4.20 to go in the first period. We're all tied 1-1 in this open division game between the Leafs and Habs as that clearance intercepted by Gallant. Gallant unable to take a shot, no clean pass yet, as now he goes cross ice to find a teammate. And off the half wall, there's the shot attempt, which is knocked down after it was fired by Yoni Koko. Out to center ice where Ben Ho Lung promptly flips that back in the attacking zone. Gallant chasing after it. Garza trying to settle down the rolling puck. Gallant strips it away. Coco shoots, that's blocked by Garza. 3.45 to go in the period. Nice move by Gallant along the half wall. Spins off the defender, shoots, big rebound. Coco bangs away at it. But Wyatt Harvey makes another phenomenal save. There has been huge chances in both ends all game and this is amazing great saves from both goaltenders you know what both goalies with relatively new gear as well i have a soft spot for good looking goaltending getups and both of these guys cody sturgeon and wyatt harvey and both goaltenders are using their equipment really good as they're making huge saves yes they are rick orioled with the drop pass for cassandra ruddle Maybe another puck mark coming up on those pads for Cody Sturgeon, but he doesn't have to make a save this time as Foxcroft wheels out of his own zone. Up to center ice, tries to feed the pass ahead for Nathan Tunis. We should mention that Lucas DeRoche not playing in the game right now for the Leafs. He's on the bench in street clothes, might have picked up a knock earlier today, so we certainly hope him a speedy recovery and that he's doing all right as he helps coach out his team this game. Willer blocks the shot from the point. Fired out through center ice, 2.27 to go in the period. Foxcroft on the backhand pass. Tunis 
Can't quite dig it away from the pressure that's put on there by Josh Schneider. Cassandra Ruddle, she tries to muscle that inside the offensive zone, but it's promptly hammered back, and Mark Bentz tracks back defensively for the Habs. As they send the puck up to center ice, Oriole unable to make a play on it. Bentz there once again for the defensive assignment. And now Oriole in a battle here against Foxcroft. A minute 48 remaining. Oriole centering pass, Ruddle shoots, and James Ruddle put it just wide, stick side. Puck over to the far corner as digging it out is Nathan Tunis. He gets the clearance out to center ice with a minute 35 remaining in the period. Leaping Liam O'Callaghan into the booth. How are you doing, Liam? Excellent. Uh, you played great, though. Good luck tomorrow. We'll catch up with you later. As Liam O'Callaghan in Canada Yellow in a tough game, and you heard it there. Tough loss, but they're a tough group, and they'll be all right and trying to bounce back tomorrow. But we got a minute 10 remaining here in the opening period as here go the Leafs in a tight 1-1 game against the Habs. Puck brought ahead by Johnny Gallant, working the near side wing. Gallant tries to center it through the crease, broken up by Garza, but unable to clear the zone. Ben Ho Lung sends it into the corner. Gallant picks it up. Good clean pass as we've got 50 seconds remaining in the frame. Gallant trying to work his way off the half wall. Still with the puck on his stick. Gallant cuts through the face-off circle, but it's jarred away. Holds the line, great hustle by Gallant to keep it in. Clearance botched as Gallant comes up with it, 35 seconds. Gallant makes the evasive move, shoots, and that one went just wide, stick side, as he tried to label that off the post and in. There's a shot from Randy Banks, takes a hop on in, but Harvey there with the big save, 20 seconds to go in the period. Gallant giving the defenders a fit. LaFrance makes the pass to Gallant, his attempt blocked, and now Ruddle able to clear the zone. 10 seconds remaining. Nice diving effort there from Randy Banks. And then Curtis Ruddle awkwardly crashes into the boards. Hopefully he's okay. Final seconds tick off the clock. And there's the horn. Isaiah, what a game. 1-1 one, one after one period. This period and this whole game have been phenomenal. Both teams are playing really good. And I bet the... Old Toronto Maple Leafs versus Montreal Canadiens games at Maple Leaf Gardens were just as good. <laughs> I love it, absolutely. Just as good, just as exciting, and just as close. Folks, stay tuned, second period puck drop coming up next. All right, fans, let's get you ready for the second period puck drop in this nail-biter of a game between the Habs and the Leafs as you're tuned in to the 2024 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. And there's the puck drop. We are underway in the second period with the Leafs in yellow going left to right across your screen and the Habs in black working right to left as the Habs try to dig out the puck. Battling for it, Eli Bomers comes up with it. Bomers can't quite feed it through as the Chasmanian Devil now in the booth. He scored a beauty earlier today. How you feeling, buddy? I'm feeling great, man. I don't want to bother you too much. No, oh, we get a goal! How about that? Good timing, Chaz. He leaves exactly when we needed him to because the Leafs get the goal to go up 2-1. to one. The Leafs have scored early in both periods. They scored early in the first. They scored early in the second. And that, give, and that goal gives them a 2-1 lead. It was a clearance attempt that never made it out of the zone, and then the shot from the wall finds its way through. What a big goal. Bomers was in the vicinity, but I believe it's Cody Sturgeon that's going to get the goal to put the Leafs up 2-1. to one. May have been Nathan Tunis, as Tunis led the Selly 
We'll wait for the official announcement, but one of those three players right there to make the difference is Jason Willer having a conversation with the referees at center ice. He's not too happy about something. Feeling maybe there was no clean pass on that. Well, the goal stands, the clock runs, and it's two to one for the Leafs, but here goes Willer for the Habs. Willer drops it, trying to hit Wayne St. Dennis with that pass. Uh, excuse me, that's Brian Mackey, the Mack truck who was cutting in front. Willer gets the puck, makes the pass this time as he picked out Jimmy Trombley, but he couldn't get a clean shot away. Willer takes it behind the net, cycles to the near side, tries to bank it in, but that one blocked out as Foxcroft working for the clearance. Trombley strips it away. That attempt from Norman Blay gets blocked by Trombley, who tries to center it from the corner. Nothing doing there. Foxcroft wheeling out of his own zone, cuts through the middle of the ice and across the center line into the offensive zone. Makes the pass over to Bomers. Bomers tries to feed it back to Foxcroft, but that's broken up. Nice little backhand attempt there from Sturgeon, which just went wide. At the point, held in as Randy Banks trying to hold the zone. That shot attempt, and check that, that was actually Norman Blay making the effort, but it was blocked, and Blay now able to hold the line only for a moment because Curtis Ruddle crashing in. Actually, that's Jimmy Trombley crashing in to make the play. Trombley tries the drop pass, picked off now by Foxcroft as we play just under three minutes here in the second period. Foxcroft sends the puck in deep. Scooped up by Oriole as he wheels out the far side. Cuts now to the near wing. Oriole banks it off the boards and he'll chase after it himself. Slick Rick Oriole takes it to the net, tries to jam that in, no clean pass as Aiden McCallan was trailing and now it's secured by the Leafs. Up the near side wing goes Johnny Gallant. Cassandra Reddle tries to pick his pocket. Gallant centering pass. Gravel's shot just goes wide. Centered back in front. A scrum forward, it's in the back, but the whistle goes, so no goal as Wyatt Harvey had made the save. The next goal will be very important. If the Habs score, it'll be a tie at 2-2. If the Leafs score, they will get that lead way bigger, and that they'll get a bigger lead, and it'll just feel like they, they have a better advantage with the bigger lead. Absolutely, Isaiah summing it up perfectly. And we get the goal announcement. It's Stormin' Norman Blay who gets the goal. As Bomers and Sturgeon drawing the assists. Excuse me, Tunis and Bomers. And now we're gonna get a penalty here after one of the Leafs players got dumped. Banks hammers it in the zone. And on the touch coming up here from Scanlon, we get the whistle. So the Leafs are going to the power play, cross-checking the call. And who's the guilty party? I think it's Mark Bentz that's going to the box. It'll be, this will be an important power play for the Leafs. The Habs are gonna try and kill this off if they can. That'll be huge, that'll be, um, that'll be great for the Habs and they really have to try hard because if the Leafs score, they could keep growing their lead. Already leading two to one and now on the power play, but the Habs win the face off and Willer picks it up, banks it off the boards and down the ice. So it'll be Graham Foxcroft to retrieve it from inside his own zone. Out of the far corner, he starts to wheel ahead for the Leafs on the power play. He got spun out, no call play continuing on as Nathan Tunis picks up the loose puck. Tunis gets around the diving Willer, centering pass for Alyssa Cruz and the one-timer over to the far side hash marks. LaFrance in the slot, shoots, trickling towards the post, big block as the puck dies in the crease and we get the whistle. A minute 20 remaining on the power play as the Leafs are starting to fire. Yeah, the Leafs definitely getting the chances, definitely trying to take that bigger lead. Bensey in the box for the Bensey bounce as he gets ticketed with the cross check. Quick shout out to Lana Ruddle who says the 10 years of play and practice is really showing for all of the players. The games are getting so fast, I could not agree more. Here go the Leafs, 
Galan, his shot attempt blocked fearlessly by Schneider, who then from his knees got it to the line, but not out, held in by Blay, who's got the go-ahead goal right now. Chamblay shoots, excuse me, Galan shoots, that one just missed. They try jamming in as Cody Sturgeon had a couple of whacks at it, but Wyatt Harvey makes a great save. So far, the Habs killing off this penalty kill. They're doing it pretty well. The Leafs are getting a lot of chances in the zone. They're making blocks. The Leafs are shooting it a bit wide, and Wyatt Harvey couldn't be better. He has played tremendous in goal for the Habs today. As that shot from the point off a shin pad into the near corner. Just seven seconds remaining on the power play as McCowan tries to clear the zone, but Foxcroft holds it in. And do we have a penalty coming here, or is that an offside? Um, I think it's just an offside call. Okay. So we're back to even strength as the penalty is now expired. So we get Nate the Great, Nathan Tunis, facing off against Aiden McCowan. McCowan scoring a beauty goal yesterday for the Habs in their win. As now the player out of the box, and we're back to even strength five aside. Here go the Leafs. The pass intended for Tunis, his stick lifted. The Habs unable to clear the zone on the first effort from Bentz. Battling for it is McCowan, sneaks past him. Tunis in the corner, tries to walk out front, shot right on, but there's Wyatt Harvey for another quality save. So far, Wyatt Harvey has been the busier goalie this period as the Leafs are firing on the power play and he, and he has been phenomenal. He has been absolutely spectacular. Well said, Isaiah. As we approach the midway mark of this game, 11.45 remaining in the second period. Here goes the Mack truck, beep, beep, as he sends it down the ice into the near side corner. It'll be picked up by Randy Banks around the boards but kept in by Willer. Jason Willer, nice little spinorama move along the far side wall, centering pass off the skate of Tunis and over to the near side boards. As the Leafs trying to clear the zone but they can't, held in, the Mack truck tries to put that on net. Willer in a foot race here against Tunis. Willer gets to it first to hold the pressure on. Now the Leafs clear it down the ice. Not gonna have enough for icing as Nathan Tunis Racing up there, but Mark Bentz gets to it first. Bentz along the near side boards, hammers that one up the ice, down the wall, and all the way for an icing call with 10.50 remaining in the second period. Isaiah, it's starting to feel like the next goal is either going to put this game out of reach or give it new life, depending who scores it. Definitely, and of course, even if the Leafs score, there's, there's still a period left for the Habs to get back. But if the Habs score, they can even get the lead in the third period. So definitely the next goal is very important for either the Leafs or the Habs. Excellently said, my friend. And we're going to get the goaltending change here for both teams with 10.34 remaining in the second period. As Corey Gaskin leaves the net, having conceded just one against. And Wyatt Harvey, despite giving up two, made some absolutely spectacular saves to keep this a one goal game. And now taking over the mesh is Francis Manella for the Leafs. And big save Dave Brown for the Habs. From the face off, the Habs scrum for possession as it's picked up and sent down the ice by the stick of Jimmy Trombley. Foxcroft picks it up at the far side face-off dot, rips it around the boards where it's picked up by Alyssa Cruz. Cruz tries to chip that one on. Held in at the point by McCowan, rims that all the way around the boards to the near side half wall where Foxcroft tries to poke it out past Oriold and he does so successfully on the second effort. Schneider hires, uh, fires that right back in. Pop. Puck pops high in the air, and they battle around for it as it kind of pinballs before it's smacked down the ice. Controlled here by Josh Schneider. 
flips that one over as Hillary Scanlon uses the backhand to advance it. Only as far as Foxcroft playing it for Maurice LaFrance. LaFrance trying to take it into the zone. Delayed offside though, so that'll give Aiden McCowan a chance to stick handle. His pass into the skates of Cassandra Ruddle. Alyssa Cruz had it, now it's stripped away. Here goes Gallant. Gallant tries to make the pass, but the back checking effort from Schneider intercepts it. There's the good clean pass, the shot from Gallant into the far corner. Ricochets up to the half wall. Norman Blay, his shot attempt gets blocked. Cruz with the centering pass. LaFrance shoots, but that's blocked in front by the skate of Schneider, and then his backhanding clearing effort kept in by Foxcroft. Nine minutes to go in the period. Foxcroft behind the net, settles down the puck, turned over as it'll be secured by Scanlon. Scanlon up the boards, but not out of the zone. Foxcroft trying to keep it in, but Oriold wills that one out, and now Oriold leading the charge here for the Habs. Behind the net, Oriold needs to make a clean pass. Foxcroft stayed with him and stripped the puck away before sending it up the ice here. Foot race for Gallant. Johnny Gallant gets to it first, centering pass. Right there, but unable to corral it. Bomers takes the shot now, but it's blocked by Willer. Eli Bomers from his backside did well to move the puck over to Gallant. 8.15 remaining in the second period as Jason Willer stick handles and wheels out of the zone for the Habs. Brought ahead here by Cassandra Ruddle. She tries to make the pass. That one broken up, but Willer picks it up. Scanlon, her shot from the point, that one trickled just wide as the puck took one or two bounces before just missing the near side post. Picked up here by Gallant into the offensive zone. Drop pass for Bomers. He blew a tire, he gets it back, centers it through the high slot. Tunis getting a touch to it. Uh, has actually checked that that was Cody Sturgeon making the pass. Gallant controls, Gallant shoots. Oh, that one's gonna hurt as it went off the back of the heel of Aiden McCowan with the gutsy block. Then the shot kicked out with the left pad by big save Dave Brown, his first save since coming in in relief of Wyatt Harvey. Gallant keeping it in the zone, but now it's controlled by McCowan. As Aiden primetime McCowan across the red line. Gains the offensive zone, stick handling with speed. He's got Curtis Ruddle going to the front of the net, but the pass evades both Curtis and James, and now it's chipped in the zone by Schneider. But on the delayed offside with 6.50 to go in the period, the Leafs corral it here. Cody Sturgeon over to the far side wall where Nathan Tunis plays it up to the opposing blue line. Mark Bentz. Bentz banks it off a stick and into the team black bench. Heads up there for the Habs as that one nearly hit a teammate in the helmet. Well, six and a half minutes to go here in the period. Isaiah, this is about as tight of a game as we've had all weekend. Yes, a very good game, and both teams are definitely very good teams, both of them trying their best, and both of them very well succeeding. They are, and it's still to be determined who's gonna get the W, but right now it's the Leafs two, the Habs one, as the Leafs send the puck inside the Hab zone where Schneider retrieves it. He blew a tire, but was able to clear it on a good, strong effort. And now Norman Blay, who's got the go-ahead goal for the Leafs, takes possession. Foxcroft, he tries to gain the zone. He's being held up. Not sure if we have a penalty coming here. I think we do. Yes, we do against the Habs. Holding is gonna be the call against Jason Willer, who doesn't like it, but Foxcroft draws the penalty, and the Leafs are going to the power play. Another power play for the Leafs. There will probably be a lot of play in the half zone. The Leafs trying to get that goal that'll get, that'll extend their lead to, to two. Um, and this is, uh, the Habs have to try and kill this off just like they did the first one in this period. Absolutely, and with 5.10 to go in the period, a big moment in this game is the second period ticking down, and we're gonna have the face off here to the left of the goaltender, Dave Brown. McCowan setting to square off against Nathan Tunis. 
as they scrum for possession from the draw and it's Rick Oriold who's able to clear the zone. Good early kill so far from the Habs. The net for Francis Manella off the pegs. Referee haven't noticed it as it's picked up now by Graham Foxcroft. Foxcroft makes the pass. It's broken up by Oriold who wanted to try something shorthanded but he didn't have the support around him. And now it's picked up by Gallant. Gallant to Foxcroft, cuts in, shoots, big block, loose puck. Couple of big saves by the left pad of Dave Brown. Big save, Dave, coming up huge. Um, and, uh, and on the penalty kill, those are huge saves by Dave Brown, and he has to make sure that the puck doesn't go in to give his team uh, two more goals to score just to tie it. It's a one goal game, one minute remaining on the power play for the Leafs, 3.45 remaining in the second period. Well, they're gonna stop the clock to reset the net for the Leafs as it's been off for a little bit here. And we'll get ready to drop the puck and resume the action. Referee says to hold the clock for seven seconds after they drop the puck to make up for the runoff. From the faceoff, LaFrance takes it into the zone for the Leafs. He's knocked to the ice. Gallant makes the pass. Randy Banks shoots. Oh, what a save. Dave Brown takes that one right off the helmet. And just like yesterday, he gets pegged in the head and then pushes the net off the pegs to make sure he gets the extra second to recover as Randy Banks let go of a rocket from the blue line. Banks was trying to give his team the lead, he, uh, the two goal lead, and he almost did. What a save by Dave Brown, that was incredible. A huge save, and Isaiah, the compliments for you continue to come in on the live chat thread. As Faith Sturgeon says, Isaiah is doing a great job. Love his commentary. Thank you. I'm telling you, you're gonna take my job by this time next year, buddy. Probably not. <laughs> well, maybe we can continue to work together. How about yeah. that? Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, okay, good. <laughs> Isaiah joining me in the booth for back-to-back -back games. Absolutely love it. As from the face off, the Leafs firing it in. 30 seconds remaining on the power play here, but the puck cleared out of the zone by the Habs. Randy Banks at his own blue line. Chips it ahead for Alyssa Cruz. Nice touch to Maurice LaFrance. He tried to flip that over to Gallant, but it was broken up and Hillary Scanlon there to try turn it up the ice. It goes off of Banks who is heading into the bench. Play continuing on, three minutes remaining in the period. Just eight seconds left in the power play for the Leafs. Gallant dumps it to Cruz, tries to get it to Foxcroft, but McCowan there for the interception. And now Norman Blay picks it up as Willer out of the box. So we're back to even strength with 2.40 remaining in the period. Across the line comes Gallant. Checks his options, leaves it for Cruz, he gets it right back. Foxcroft with a one-timer, that one just trickled wide. LaFrance, he tries to pick it off the end boards, but contesting him defensively was Drew Garza. Secured here by Gallant, shoots, that one went off the side of the net as he tried to pick the top corner. Cassandra Ruddle battling for it along the boards against Alyssa Cruz. Picked up now by Willer, 2.10 to go in the period. Willer reverses the breakout, works the near side wing and now cuts up the middle as he tried to send the pass ahead for McCowan. Nice job here by Aiden McCowan as he hustled hard and made a good gutsy play to contend with the stick check from Foxcroft. Foxcroft corrals the loose puck across center ice for the Leafs. Into the zone, he's got Tunis with him. Tries the drop pass, Nathan Tunis from the faceoff dot couldn't get the shot through traffic as now it's picked up by Foxcroft. Puts the puck over to the hash marks. Tunis has a whack at it, but it's blocked. Kept in at the line by Blay. A minute 30 remaining in the period. The Leafs putting on the pressure now. Bomers back to Foxcroft from the half wall. No urgency as now he makes the pass. Tunis, his shot doesn't get past a couple of defenders as James Ruddle got in the way of that one. And Oriold only got it across the blue line for a minute as now we get a delayed offside. 
And with one minute remaining in the period, the Leafs will pick it up inside their own blue line. Quickly out to center ice. Brought ahead now by Sturgeon. Dumps the puck in deep as Sturgeon will peel off from the change and it'll be picked up here by Schneider. Schneider checking his options. The breakout blocked. Picked up by Bomers. Sends the pass over to Sturgeon. Sturgeon from the far corner tries to whip it in front. 40 seconds remaining in the period as Schneider rips it off the boards, but it's gonna stay in the zone. Nice job there at the point by Ben Ho Lung. Shot from Nathan Tunis gets blocked. 30 seconds to go. Curtis Ruddle through the neutral zone. Norman Blay there to check him down. Ruddle hits the ice hard and they're gonna whistle it down for the offside. But hopefully Ruddle's okay as that was a hard collision across the blue line. Curtis Ruddle, one of the toughest dudes here, and he's a little shaken up, but I think he's gonna be okay as he gets back to his own feet. And I think he's gonna be able to shake this off. Never wanna see a player get injured, and especially after the injury earlier today with Mark Sanders, and of course we wish a speedy recovery to him. And it looks like Ruddle's gonna be okay as he heads over to the bench. Isaiah, 24 seconds remaining here in the period as they drop the puck. The Leafs holding on to the 2-1 lead. Anything can happen. The Habs can score in the period. The Leafs can score in the period. And here come the Leafs breaking out of their own zone. Johnny Gallant, he's gotten goals today. He had a hat trick earlier today. There he makes the drop pass as trying to feed it through there was Yoni Coco. Couple seconds remaining, shot from the point gets blocked and the buzzer sounds. So after two periods of play, the Leafs holding on to a 2-1 advantage. Very good game so far. The Leafs only have a one goal lead. Anything can happen in the third. Very well said, my friend. So stay tuned because it's the third period of play up next as you're tuned in to the 2024 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. All right, fans, let's get you ready for the third period puck drop in this tightly contested tilt in the open division at the 2024 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament between the Leafs in yellow and the Habs in black. Puck drop, we are underway as the Leafs move left to right across your screen. And Ben Ho Lung tracks that puck in the near corner. Willer secures it for the Habs, chips it down low behind the net. The Mack truck trying to wrap it in. It sat there for a second, and then Manella able to cover it up. Good save there from Francis Manella. Well, a good start to the period for the Habs as they try claw their way back from a one-goal deficit, and Willer continues to be a catalyst on offense for them today and this weekend. Speaking of offensive go-getters, here goes Johnny Gallant. Gallant trying to play the puck back. Blocked out, it gets past the Mack truck and fired ahead here as chasing it down for the Habs is Jimmy Tremblay. Tremblay fed it to the near side, nothing doing. Puck flipped out through center ice. Chipped into the uh, opposing zone where Schneider takes control for the Habs after it was touched forward by Gallant. Norman Blay collides there with Tremblay. They both seem to be okay and now secured 
by Yoni Coco. He sends the puck in deep. Coco making his debut at the Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament last year. His game looking so much stronger this year. His skating in particular has improved significantly. As the Habs trying to crash on that loose puck, but Foxcroft secures it. Leaves it for Alyssa Cruz who tries to feed it back up to the speedy Foxcroft. But it was out of his range and cleared out through center ice. Controlled here by Johnny Galen. He looks for an option, leaves it for Foxcroft, who in turn hits LaFrance. Galant across the line, working the near side wall, stops at the hash marks. The shot from LaFrance over to the far corner, as he felt like a penalty should have been called against Snyder, but nothing doing, and play continues on here with Willer on the puck for the halves. Across the line, Ruddle heading to the net. Willer takes it all the way behind the goal as he contends for it along the near side wall. Plays it back as it'll be secured by Norman Blay who banks it off the boards down the ice and out through center where Mark Bentz takes control for the halves. Bentz banks it, Cruz gets there for the Leafs. Loose puck picked up by Oriol. Flipped up off the glass, stays in play as Scanlon rocks it over to the near side with 17-10 to go in the third. Foxcroft behind his own net, wheeling outside the far wing. Loose puck secured now by Nathan Tunis across center ice. Tunis goes for the drop pass, picked up by Sturgeon. Sturgeon tries the shot, it's off a stick and wide of the net. Schneider rips it around the far side boards and Blay will have to retreat to get it for the Leafs. Blay, cross pass over to Foxcroft. He gets closed down by Oriold, who got a free hand hold on him. And now Oriold has the puck in the zone with James Ruddle. Ruddle shoots and scores! James the Train Ruddle brings it home and ties this game at two. What a goal there, Isaiah. Crucial goal for the Habs. Get the game deadlocked at 2-2 earlier in the third period. And now the Habs have a chance to take the lead. And the next goal will give one team the lead, and that will be a huge goal. Well, and what did you say earlier? The next goal would be big either way. It either would have made it 3-1 or 2-2, and it's the Habs that tie this game here in the third period. Huge goal for the Habs. And they're working for more. Here goes Aiden McCowan. Makes the drop pass for Willard, but defended nicely by Ben Ho-Lung as he intercepts it, and now the Leafs Breaking out along the far side wall with Gallant carrying it. Into the offensive zone. Gallant trying to hit Sturgeon with the pass. A couple of Habs defenders collide. And with a player down on the ice, we're going to whistle it for player safety with four and a half minutes gone in the Habs third. Goal scored by number three, James Ruddle. Assisted by number 10, Rick Oriole. So slick Rick Oriole assists on the goal from James the Train Ruddle. And... The player slow to get up here for the Habs is Drew Garza, so hopefully nothing serious. Looks like he's gonna be able to shake this off. You know, Isaiah getting bumped, getting bruised, it's part of hockey, isn't it, buddy? Yeah. Maybe not the most fun part, though, is it? Not the f <laughs> most fun part, but it's part of hockey. It is part of the game. So the face-off will come to the left of the goaltender, Dave Brown. As Karen Schultz tunes in saying, great save, big save, Dave Brown. Go Habs. From the blue line, held in by Randy Banks. Shoots, that one just missed as from the face-off, it was drawn back to him. Gallant in the far corner, tries to chip it in front. Bomers has a whack at it. What a save by Brown. That nearly got over his pad, but he swiped the glove hand there to keep it out. Dave Brown has been phenomenal since he came in net in relief of Wyatt Harvey, and the score is 2-2, so if he keeps this up, the Habs should have this game. Well, they've done well to battle back in a position to tie this game. As Isaiah mentioned, it's 2-2 with 15 minutes to go in the third. The Leafs swiping at it. The shot never made it on net. Bomers with a backhander. Gallant tries to muscle it through the crowd. Foxcroft just able to hold it in at the blue line. Stripped away, though, by the Mack truck. 
Great play by Brian Mackey. Here goes Jason Willer. He needs to make a clean pass. Tries the drop pass, but no one there in black. And now Foxcroft takes it away for the Leafs. He leads a three on two rush. Foxcroft, drop pass to Glenn. Glenn shoots off the stick of Schneider and just wide. Sturgeon chips it at the blue line. Willer able to knock it past the defender. Nice chop there by Sturgeon not to commit a penalty, but to get the puck to knock it away from Willer. Willer's centering pass blocked out. No clean pass yet from the Habs. 14 minutes to go in the period. Puck over to the far side half wall where it's picked up at the hash marks by Jimmy Trombley. Shot from the point, blocked in front as Blay got his body in the way of that one and sent down the ice where a foot race ensues and it's gonna be Gallant that gets to it ahead of Schneider. Johnny Gallant checking his passing options. Mark closely as that one drawn back for Yoni Coco. He returns it to Gallant, that's the clean pass. Gallant trying to work from the hash marks along the half wall. Takes the shot through traffic and it sneaks through. Johnny Gallant retains the lead for the Leafs. They now lead this game three to two with 13.20 left in the third. In this game, the Leafs have not given up a lead yet. In the first, they led it 1-0, then it was tied. In the second, they led it 2-1, and then it was tied in the third, and now they've regained the lead. It is 3-2 for the Leafs. And a great summary there from Isaiah. See, that's why I have you up here. I can never remember that stuff, so I'm glad you've been keeping track of it. <laughs> yeah. Penalty coming here against the Leafs, though, as they dump one of the Habs players. It was Rick Oriol that was tripped up, and the Habs are going to go to the power play to try tie this game. Waiting and to... The, the Habs power play is very good for the Habs, as now they have the chance to retie the game in the third period and it, this is a crucial power play yes well said my friend as i believe it's gravel that ends up in the box patrick gravel and the leafs will be shorthanded so the face off to the left of goaltender francis manella the puck bantied about and across the line where drew garza quickly hammers it back in deep foxcroft corrals it out of the corner stops behind his own net and now cuts in front dangerously, but does well to get it to the line, but not past Scanlon. Scanlon feeds the pass over to McCowan, near side wall. Back to the point for Garza, the one-timer. That's blocked, it ricochets right to Scanlon. She tries to get the shot away, but Foxcroft closes her down and clears it out through center ice where Johnny Gallant sends it the rest of the way. And what a weekend for Gallant. He had a beauty goal yesterday, a hat trick earlier today, and now another goal to put the Leafs up three to two. A pass from McCowan into the offensive zone, but no one there on his team to secure it. And it's quickly cleared out through the neutral zone. Scanlon banks it ahead. That one just gets past James Ruddle. Picked up by Gallant with 55 seconds remaining on the power play for the Habs, which hasn't been able to get much going here since they've got the advantage. They send the puck in along the wall. Oriold makes the pass to Ruddle. Kicks it back to Oriold, shoots. Oh, what a save by Manella as he just got the blocker down to the post to keep that out. That was a huge save, crucial save, as the Habs could have tied the game, but Manella gets the blocker there to stop it. 20 seconds remaining in the power play for the Habs as we approach the midway mark of the third period. From the faceoff, Banks tries to clear it out from in front of his own net. Digging away for it is Curtis Ruddle. He banks it back to the point for Mark Bentz. Bentz shoots, that one gets blocked by Ben Ho Lung. As Bentz tries to track it down with the final seconds of the power play ticking off the clock. And now out of the box comes Patrick Gravel. So we're back to even strength. Five aside hockey in the Leafs. Able to breathe easier for the time being, knowing that they've still got a 3-2 lead. 10 minutes remaining in the third period. Randy Banks banks it off the far side boards out through center ice, where Jason Willer takes possession for the Habs. Willer into the attacking zone. Feeds a great pass over to Curtis Ruddle, who shoots, and that one just went wide of the far post. Ruddle barely missed on that one. Schneider at the blue line. 
Feeds the pass, tape to tape to Willer. He takes the shot and scores! Off the stick of Ben Ho Lung and in. And Jason Willer ties this game at three. This has been this type of game. All game as first the Leafs score, then the Habs score, then the Leafs score, then the Habs score. It's been this way all game, and hopefully the Habs, they, they're going to try to break that pattern. Absolutely. They'll try buck the trend. As Again, see, this is why you're up here. I would not have remembered that. So, again, I'm glad you're paying attention. Yeah. As Isaiah summarizes it perfectly, it's been a back-and-forth battle, and the Habs, no quit in their game. They have come back each time. The question is, can they press in front? 8.50 to go in the third. We are all tied up 3-3 between the Leafs and Habs as Mackey puts a bit of a can opener on Foxcroft there, and he's not happy about the lack of a call, but it's picked up now by Gallant. Gallant makes the lead pass intended for Foxcroft. Garza gets to it first and quickly fires it back inside the Leaf zone. Norman Blay at the far side faceoff dot, chops it back to the near side wing. Garza picks off the pass, tries to corral it and fires that deep inside the Leafs territory. Foxcroft wheels out from behind his own net, cuts through the middle in his own zone and he's leading a rush here for the Leafs. They've got a four on one brewing, but Garza attacks defensively and makes a huge play to stop the yellow wave that was coming in on him. Norman Blay, he'll send the puck in deep. Gallant is gonna pick it up along the half wall. Gallant in the near corner, tries to peel away from the defensive check of Schneider, centers that puck. It just hit the heel of Cody Sturgeon's stick and bounced away from him, but he does well to hold the zone and plays the puck in deep with 7.35 to go in the third. If tied, we'll go to overtime and a shootout if necessary. But there's a huge save by Dave Brown off the backhander from Johnny Gallant, and we've got a penalty coming here against the Habs. It's gonna be a hooking call. And this is a huge power play for the Leafs, trying to take the lead again and maybe to win the game. It's Rick Oriel that gets whistled for the hooking call. And like Isaiah said, a goal at this point with just seven minutes remaining in the third could prove to be a game winner. So a huge power play now for the Leafs. They scrum from the faceoff. Randy Banks trying to settle down the rolling puck. Stripped away by James Ruddle. Ruddle going up there, but he's all by himself. No one in black to support him right now on the penalty kill. Peels back, trying to shield the puck here and take some time off the clock. But it's wrestled away by the France, and now Nathan Tunis takes it for the Leafs. Tunis chips it off the boards into the offensive zone. Bentz plays it to the far corner before retrieving it himself. Willer, nice clearance there, shorthanded. 120 remaining on the penalty. Willer picks up the loose puck himself, but just like Ruddle before, no one in the zone. Now Ruddle gets in there, takes a position at the front of the net. Willer trying to figure out his best passing option, tried to chip it over the net, but not doing that time. Around the boards and out through center ice, where it's gonna be secured by Garza. Just one minute remaining on the power play for the Leafs, as they, as they have yet to muster anything on this power play. Scanlon clears the puck across center ice. Foxcroft picks it up inside his own zone, 40 seconds remaining. Sends that the length of the ice. This is gonna be, well, not enough for icing, so Garza's gotta make a play, and he quickly flips that down the rink as Ho Lung will track it with 30 seconds left on the Leafs' power play. Gallant makes the move, brings it across the blue line. He's got Bomers with him. Makes the drop pass. Bomers tried to feed it back to Gallant. Scrum for the puck. Gallant trying to get the shot away. That's blocked by McCowan. Oh, there's a good chance and a big save by Dave Brown as Gravel had a whack at it, but Dave Brown equal to that test. So that'll do it for the power play as Oriole will come out of the box once they drop the puck. Isaiah, great kill there from the Habs. That was a great penalty kill by the Habs, and 
They're trying to stay in this game, and if possible, they're trying to even take the lead. And now they're back to even strength, and it could happen. It very well could happen with four and a half minutes remaining in the third period, and the Habs coming off that successful penalty kill. You gotta think they're feeling confident, but that time the puck wrestled away from Oriole, then it's brought in by the Leafs. Bomers over to Foxcroft, cuts his way in front. Diving effort by Schneider to knock it off the stick of Foxcroft at the last moment. Shot right on, big save by the left pad of Dave Brown. Loose puck picked up by Rick Oriole. He's working the near side wing. Drop pass intended for McCowan. That was broken up by Gallant. Gravel leaving it for Gallant. Gallant now across the blue line. Makes the pass to Foxcroft. Back to Gallant. Sharp angle. Shoots. Big save by Brown as he got just enough of that with the blocker to keep it out on that sharp angle shot. Curtis Ruddle taking it into the offensive zone. He's got Oriole heading to the net, trying to get the pass. Backhander there, but Foxcroft closed down slick Rick Oriole and was able to negate the chance with three and a half minutes left in the third period. Feels like this could be going to overtime as both teams trying to work for the go-ahead goal. That puck nearly into the bench. Go ahead, buddy. Definitely this very well could go into overtime and it and it probably will as both teams are definitely not letting in any goals. Jason Willer picks up the loose puck. He's trying to score one here for the Habs. Stick handling behind the net, but Manella there to make the save. Both teams playing tight D. Here's Scanlon at the point for the Habs. Goes D to D to Garza. Garza wants the shot, he lets it fly. Blocked in front by Holung. Trickling puck and saved by Manila with 2.40 remaining in the third. Huge save. The Habs could have taken the lead there and both goalies really have to be ready in this last two minutes and 40 seconds. Absolutely they do as the faceoff will come to the left of Francis Manila, the goaltender for the Leafs, taking over from Corey Gaskin. As Dave Brown taking over for Wyatt Harvey and we are all square 3-3. With a little more than two minutes remaining from the faceoff, Rick Oriold had a touch on it. Schneider chops it. Benz had started to retreat, so here goes Nathan Tunis for the Leafs. Tunis trying to find a passing option. Pivots at the blue line. His backhander blocked by Willer. Willer chips that ahead for McCowan. Offside at the line as the Habs couldn't gain the zone cleanly. And we get the whistle with a minute 45 to play. So referee Curtis will bring the puck outside the Leafs blue line and gets set to drop it as Aiden McCowan will face off against Johnny Gallant. And McCowan's actually gonna allow Willer to take the face off and Willer wins it cleanly. A minute 20 remaining. Picked up by LaFrance into the attacking zone. Drop pass for Gallant. He fights off the battle from Bentz, rips the stick out of his hands, and those two exchange some choice words. We're gonna have a penalty coming here against Johnny Gallant. But here goes Aiden McCowan, makes the pass to Willer in his skates. He couldn't track it cleanly. Final minute of play in the third period, and we get the penalty called here. Holding the stick is gonna be the call. Gallant doesn't like it. He felt like he was penalized or like he was impeded and that penalty should have been called. But in the end, it's the retaliation that gets caught. And Isaiah with 59 seconds to go, the Habs are gonna get a power play. Well, this is a very important power play for the Habs. In the final minute, they're gonna try to get the lead. And if anyone scores in the final minute, then they like there won't be a a lot of time for the other team to tie it again. You got that right, and with just 59 seconds remaining, the Habs want to make sure they get the right personnel out there for this power play. Aiden McCowan on the faceoff dot against Nathan Tunis. Tunis wins it to the line, but not past Garza. Tipped in front, oh, what a chance for James Ruddle, who scored earlier for the Habs, and that one just missed. Sent down the ice, 47 seconds to go in the third. If this goes to OT, the Habs will start 
on the power play. Here goes Garza, he wants to end it in regulation. Up across the attacking blue line, Garza makes the pass over to Ruddle, it just slipped under his stick. 30 seconds to go. James Ruddle back to the point, Hillary Scanlon, her shot attempt blocked, Nathan Tunis off to the races, and then behind the play we get a whistle. That'll bring the face off back inside the Leafs zone. There's not much time left in the game, and like with not much, I think this is going to overtime, and it's been back and forth all game. It feels like it's destined for overtime now, but with 20 seconds to go in an offensive zone face off, the Habs on the power play, trying to end it in regulation. Back to the point. Bents to Schneider, the one timer, and that trickles just wide to the near side. Battle for the puck behind the net, 13 seconds to play. Curtis Ruddle trying to dig it out. The Leafs trying to keep it pinned in. Schneider, six seconds to go. Sends it back around the boards. Foxcroft has it. Trying to keep it pinned there once again. And the buzzer sounds Isaiah's prediction right. We're going to overtime. All right, Isaiah, I'm putting you on the spot here. Since we're going to overtime, who do you think's going to score the goal? One player from each team, buddy. Uh, Who's impressed you so far? I think on the Habs, it could be James Ruddle and mm -hmm. on the Leafs, Gallant. Excellent choices, because both of those guys he, with goals already. He scored a lot, because uh, Gallant has scored a lot of goals recently. Yep. And James Ruddle has scored for the Habs already this game. Exactly, yes, well said, my friend, I like it. The overtime challenge, Isaiah picks James Ruddle from the Habs and Johnny Gallant from the Leafs. Hard to argue either of those choices. I'm gonna say Jason Willer gets it for the Habs. And I was thinking Johnny Gallant for the Leafs, but I'm not gonna piggyback on your choice. So I'll say Yoni Coco gets it. Okay. He's been contained most of the game, but he's worked hard and Coco has the nose for the net, so we'll find out. Let us know on the live chat thread where you're watching from, who you're cheering on, and who your overtime hero prediction will be. We'll get to some viewer shout outs when time permits, as they're just determining, are we gonna do a five on four or four on three? And it's gonna be four on three to start overtime. Five minute overtime and one minute remaining on the power play for the Habs. So here we go, we're into overtime as the Habs win the faceoff, and Josh Snyder maneuvers here from the blue line. Plays the puck ahead for Aiden McCowan. McCowan at the far side half wall, trying to center it in front, and that just evades the stick of Rick Oriel. Willer, he shakes off the check. Willer with the puck at the point, no clean pass yet. Dishes over to Oriel, but Oriel got his wires crossed, now makes the pass back to Willer. Willer stops from the faceoff dot, shoots, that's blocked in front. Big block there by Ben Ho Lung. Behind the net, trying to jam it in is Willer, but that on the sharp angle never found its way through. 20 seconds remaining on the power play. Oriel behind the net, he's met by the defensive check. Loose puck in the corner, Sturgeon chopping away at it, but Willer comes out of the pack with possession. Willer centers it, top of the point. Schneider tees up the shot. Oh, what a save! Francis Manella kicks out the left pad for his best save of the day. That was a huge save, a game-saving save, because it actually was. If that would have went in, that would have been the game. And Schneider shows appreciation for the effort from Manella. Schneider shaking his head as he goes back to the bench, but he skated all the way in from the blue line and gave Manella a nice tap on the helmet to say, you got me that time. What a chance. Three and a half minutes remaining in overtime as Cassandra Ruddle steps into the faceoff dot against Nathan Tunis. She wins it over to her brother, Curtis Ruddle. Back to the point, Scanlon, she tries to feather that one in deep. Bomer's there for the Leafs as the Habs putting on all the pressure so far in overtime. But here goes Gallant now for the Leafs, breaking out up the near wing. Gallant takes it into the zone, he's got Tunis with him. Sets up the pass, Tunis shoots, but it's blocked by Garza as he fires that off the glass and... We're gonna get a whistle with under three minutes left in OT. The face-off will come into the neutral zone. <coughs> so 
So both teams try get the matchups they want for the three on three now. As it's picked up by Gallant, he's got Tunis with him, tries to drop pass, sends it just wide of the far post, but Gallant tracks it in the far corner. Stops on a dime, tries to cut his way in front. Back to the point, Foxcroft tees up the shot. That's blocked down by Scanlon. Trying to get the clearance as McCowan comes up with it now for the Habs. McCowan has Willer speeding into the zone, stays onside, makes the pass to Willer. Willer shoots, what a save by Manella as he spreads out. Willer tries to celebrate saying it was in the net, but that puck never crossed the line as Manella stacks the pads for another big save. And already in overtime, Manella has made two incredible saves. And I wonder how many more he is gonna make. I bet a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly seems like he's being put to the test right now. But he is acing this one as the old school two pad stack for that save. From the draw, Willer wins it back to the point. Schneider hustles to the near side to keep it in. A minute 40 remaining in overtime or we're going to a shootout. McCowan on the wraparound, couldn't quite tuck it in. Manila was a little slow to track it, and he's lucky that McCowan couldn't settle down the rolling puck. Secured here by Gallant as he breaks out, shakes off the stick check. He's got Foxcroft into the zone with him. Gallant makes the move on the defender, Schneider, who stays stride for stride despite losing his stick. Centered to the top of the point. Norman Blay, his shot attempt blocked behind the play. We get a penalty called here holding it, I think it's going against Willer, who despite being down on the ice, is not happy about this, and it's gonna be a power play for the Leafs. A power play for the Leafs in overtime, this is huge, they, have, they haven't had the most chances in overtime, they will get a lot more now, as they get a power play in overtime. Clock running though, so they better hustle here, just 40 seconds remaining in overtime. Quick shout out for Brendan Ruddle saying, Uncle Brendan watching from Outlook, Saskatchewan. 30 seconds to go with the clock running. Leafs on the power play. They gotta drop it. There they do. Gallant wins the faceoff. LaFrance, no clean pass yet. He flips it over to Gallant. 20 seconds to go in overtime. That attempt blocked by Garza sent down the ice. Oriol, the lone player up there right now for the Habs, but here goes McCowan into the zone. 10 seconds to play. Chopped away from Oriol as McCowan slams into the boards. Five seconds remaining in overtime. Brought ahead by Tunis, they're gonna run out of time. And for the first time this weekend at the 2024 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament, we're going to a shootout. Has there ever been a shootout at the tournament? Oh man, you're putting me on the spot. I know we've had penalty shots. Off the top of my head, I do not recall a shootout happening. Wow. But you're the one who keeps track of this, not me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're waiting to determine what's going to happen here. The Zamboni was all ready to come on the ice, but we will get a shootout here to settle this game. Three players aside. So Francis Manella will go back to the net. And it all comes down to this, Isaiah, as we're gonna have a shootout between the Leafs and the Habs. And this is as exciting as it uh this is exciting as it would be at Maple Leaf Gardens with the Montreal Canadiens versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. Well, waiting to determine who's gonna shoot for each team. I believe it's Jason Willer that's gonna lead the shootout here. As Manella being taken to his net. And Willer will be the sh first shooter for the Habs. So as far as I can recall, a little bit of history happening here in the first ever shootout at the Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. Right now, the net off the peg, so they're gonna have to reset it here. As referee Curtis goes over to give Manella some instructions and get the net back on the moorings. One more game on the schedule today after this one. It's another open division battle, but here goes Willer to start the shootout. Traveling right to left across the screen. Willer takes it in, stick handling to the forehand, shoots and scores! 
Jason Willer puts it home, and the Habs are up 1-0 in the shootout. It was a slick move, Isaiah. He went backhand, forehand, and put it in low. Nice goal. That was a really nice goal. It'll be Johnny Gallant to shoot first for the Leafs. Dave Brown in goal for the Habs. Gallant picks the puck up at center ice into the offensive zone, left to right across the screen. Gallant shoots. Oh, what a goal! Top shelf snipe. That was an absolute beauty. We're tied, 1-1. One, one. Both of the people that we predicted to score in overtime scored in the shootout. You got it. Again, you're keeping track of these important stats. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Up next for the Habs. He's had a great weekend so far. It's going to be Aiden Primetime McCowan to take the next shot. McCowan. Skating slowly into the zone. Hits the face-off dot. Stick handles. Shoots. Oh, Manella makes a huge save. Stacking the pads and throwing the glove hand out there to get a piece of it. And advantage to the Leafs after that save. Huge save by Manella and to give the Leafs the lead in the shootout. And this shot will be important. As it'll be Graham Foxcroft, the former Open Division MVP, to shoot next for the Leafs. Foxcroft picks it up at center ice. Stick handles the puck rolling on him. He settles it down, takes the shot, and it just goes wide. Oh, tough break there for the Leafs. And we're back to level terms, 1-1 after two shooters each. I think I heard it hit the post. Might have gotten a piece of the post. Yeah, yeah. you quite could be right there. Up next, Rick Oriel to take the third shot for the Habs to try give them the lead. Slick Rick Oriel brings it, hits the high slot, hash mark, shoots. Oh, Manella keeps it out. He took that one right off the mask, but two huge saves from Francis Manella. Francis Manella has only let in one goal in the shootout, and that is just phenomenal. And coming up next, Maurice LaFrance to take the shot with a chance to win it in the shootout for the Leafs. LaFrance, stick handling across the line, through the slot. Tees it up and a big blocker save from Dave Brown. And we're gonna need extra shooters in the shootout to determine who's gonna win this game. Wow. Rick Oriold, he'll be back up here well, actually, a bit of a discussion as to the plan and if players can repeat. So there you go. They wanted to run Oriole back out, but I don't think they're going to let them. As the next shooter for the Habs, it's going to be James Ruddle stepping up to take the shot. So Ruddle, who scored a goal earlier in the game, now gets the shootout opportunity. Here he goes, stick handling to the faceoff dot at the hash marks, gets Manella to drop, but a huge save as Manella just got enough to keep that out. Three consecutive saves from Francis Manella. Francis Manella is doing fantastic in the shootout. And Starting in the extra shootout, he is doing phenomenal too as he just made that first save in the extra shootout. Absolutely, he's played spectacular. And now up next, Nate the Great Tunis. Nathan Tunis to shoot for the Leafs. A chance to seal this game here in the shootout. Nathan Tunis brings the puck into the zone, hits the hash marks, stick handles to the forehand, off the post! Oh my goodness, so close. But Isaiah, no goal that time. That was so close, and just a little more in, and that would have, that could have been the game winner. But now the Habs are trying to get one, and this will be an important shot. As they send Drew Garza, the Chicago native, he scored a beauty earlier. Now Garza stepping up, cuts wide into the middle, tries to drag it past Manella, but Manella with the old school poke check. And another big save from Francis. Francis Manella, ever since the overtime period ended, he's only let in one goal. He has been essentially perfect. 
And now Alyssa Cruz will take the penalty shot here in the shootout for the Leafs. A chance to win this game here in the shootout. Alyssa Cruz across the blue line, skating in methodically. Cruz stick handling to the forehand. Oh, and just slides it wide. She had Dave Brown beat, but couldn't put it on net. And we're going to another round of bonus shootout action. Wow, I wonder how many rounds there will be. Uh, you're the one supposed to keep track of that. Don't ask me to keep track of things. <laughs> it's Curtis Ruddle who will be the next shooter for the Habs. Curtis Ruddle, he's played tremendous this weekend. Ruddle hits the hash marks, takes the shot. Oh, what a glove save! Manella just getting his fingertips there to keep that out. And Curtis Ruddle can't believe he was denied on that one. More huge saves from Manella. We are getting deep here into the shootout and it's gonna be Randy Banks, the Collingwood native, up next for the Leafs. Randy, money in the bank. Banks brings the puck in, he's got a rocket. Takes the shot, oh and that one plasters the glass behind the net. Just sailed it over the bar. Wow, that was loud. That was a powerful shot, eh? Yeah, I could hear it perfectly from here. Cassandra Ruddle will be the next shooter for the Habs as we are deadlocked here in the shootout. Cassandra Ruddle picks it up. She stick handles into the zone at the hash marks. Shoots. Oh, and Manella just got the paddle down. It looked like Ruddle might sneak it through, but Francis Manella with another clutch save. And next for the Leafs, it's going to be... Cody Sturgeon to take the attempt here in the shootout. Sturgeon, the left-handed shot, brings the puck, hits the hash mark, shoots! Oh, and Dave Brown just keeps that from crossing the line. What a save! What a save by Dave Brown. Phenomenal save. Incredible stuff from both of these goaltenders here in the shootout. Hillary Scanlon will take the next attempt for the Habs. Scanlon, the defender, streaking in here. Stick handling, draws to her forehand, takes the shot and scores! Hillary Scanlon with a bar down beauty. But Hillary it's not done yet, they need a save. The Habs are up here, go ahead Isaiah. Hillary Scanlon gets that goal, that could be a game winner. But if the Leafs score, this keeps on going. But if Dave Brown makes the save, the game will be the Habs. The Habs tried to pile off the bench to celebrate, forgetting that they still need a save here on this shot. As the Leafs have an opportunity to tie it, Eli Bomers taking the attempt. Bomers brings it in. Forehand shoots and just misses and that's it. The Habs win in a shootout. What a phenomenal game. Great game by both teams. The Leafs and the Habs both played spectacular. The goaltending was incredible. Both, all four goalies that played were phenomenal. Isaiah, any final words from you before we sign off? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got a word. You did an amazing job. Thank you for coming up here and joining us again. Yeah, it was so fun. All right, we'll get you back tomorrow. But that's going to wrap up this open division game. One more on the docket. Up next, it's the Canucks versus Sens as you're watching the 2024 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. Oh, oh, oh.